wonderful day for the Kings fans because Luke Walter finally gets fired. Oh my god. I, I've been waiting for this for such a long time. I didn't even know why the Kings signed him at the first place. He wasn't really a good coach. I mean, he hasn't proved to be a good head coach. He was a decent, he was a good assistant coach for the Golden State Warriors. But that Lakers season, like what? You had LeBron freaking James and you couldn't make the playoffs. And yeah, the Kings, I remember in, that was in 2019 when they fired Dave Yeager despite having the best season of the decade. Or Okay, not century, but just entire decade. They won 39 games in one season. 39-43, that's so close to 500. And that year, Dave Yeager was amazing. And as a result, the Kings decided to fire him. Because Vlad Divac had a brain fart that I always had. Like drafting... Not drafting Luka Doncic, even though he met him in person. I thought he even talked with Luka's dad or something. And he drafted Marvin Bagley, obviously. And hiring Luke Walton is basically the last thing he did before he got fired. Yeah, the new GM Monty McNair arrived. And unfortunately, he developed a pretty good relationship with Luke Walton. I guess Lou Walton is good at developing relationships have high approval rates among locker room. That's why it took this far for Lou Walton to get fired. Holy crap, and Lou Walton's first two seasons are pretty underwhelming. The Kings, they were not as good as the Dave Yeager when Dave Yeager was the coach. And I know I'm not a professional basketball expert, like strategy expert, but I realized that this season, because uh, recency bias, I can only remember it this far. When the opponents use some zone defenses, the Kings have no freaking answer, and it just, I don't know, like, it just looks like what Luke Walton was doing was just swapping players instead of drawing or changing plays. And even though I believe that. Of course, Lou Walton did not single-handedly bring the Kings to 6-11, which is a horrible start. This is worse than the first two years. And that's crazy. And now Lou Walton is gone and the new coach is Alvin Gentry. So, I know Alvin Gentry is a very experienced coach, but the most recent time he was a head coach, he was with the Pelicans. The Pelicans were not that good. I mean, they had Anthony Davis, but that's it. They never passed the second round. So, due to recency bias, I don't, I'm not sure if he's a good head coach. But now, I believe the Kings made the first right step to a uh, towards playoffs. And the next step is obviously making some trades. Come on, Monty. Kings fans need you to make some trades. This current team is not gonna get it done. Fox is struggling, I'm not sure why, but maybe it's due to the new rules, like it also affected Damian Lillard, James Harden, and Fox loved to get into the paint, and he added those extra muscles for this, for like nothing, because refs are not gonna call it. And I don't know if the muscles actually worsened his shooting, but it looked like it did. He can freaking make open shots. If De'Aaron Fox has mid-range of Chris Paul, he's gotta be in the gold conversation. But he doesn't. And yeah, I don't know what to say. He somehow had a very slow start to the season. Harrison Barnes had been amazing, but he seems to cool off a bit. Halliburton, he's been alright, he's been decent. But the problem is still the freaking defense. And the defense and the rebounding, they're literally a pain for Kings fans to watch. I think we rank about like 29th in rebounding or 20, yeah it's just bottom 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 and defensive rating was heck bottom too. Russia Holmes have been averaging about 9.9 rebounds this season. Yeah and that's not good enough. 
And we brought in Tristan Thompson, which, I mean, he didn't play that much. And Marvin Bagley has been, oh my god, what's going on with Marvin Bagley? I'm just curious. Because he's not supposed to be this bad. I mean, injury, of course, but this season, he had only played four games. He only averaged about 14 minutes. And in those uh, four games, in those minutes, he looked horrible. I mean... I know he's rusty, he hasn't played in a freaking long time, but he has been shooting 30% from the field and 14% from threes. And oh my god, it's his contract year, his rookie year ends the season. Who's gonna pay him? Like over 5 mil, seriously. What is wrong? Oh my god, I can't believe he just grabbed before Luka Doncic. I mean, I'm not sure if Doncic will be the best fit, but. Just like Monty McNair said, who cares about the fit when he's the player, like when he drafted Davion Mitchell. And Davion Mitchell has been uh, pretty good defensively. Oh, he only averaged 3.4 fouls per 36. That's kind of shocking to me because it seems like he's trying to draw charge and like 90% of the time it's a block. Maybe not even 90, maybe 95% it's a block. He had some dumb fouls for sure. And the Kings bench, they just need to fix the roster. Buddy Hill has been inconsistent. And so hope Alvin Gentry has some magic. I originally wanted uh, Doc Christie to be the head coach, but it's Alvin Gentry. And now it's Monty's job to freaking trade some players. Let's trade Buddy Hill. His value is kinda high, I would say. And let's see what can we get. Uh, ben Simmons? I'm not even sure if that's a good idea, but I mean, can you get worse? And obviously, he's gonna help. He's not gonna help with the shooting. I don't even know how he can be on the floor with Rashawn Holmes at the same time. But he will definitely help with the defense. And according to Monty, the Kings GM, he wanted the Kings to play faster and to play better defense, obviously. And last night we just got torched by the Utah Jazz. And even the fan puked near the Jazz bench. That was so epic. I'm sure all of you guys have seen the video. It's just so funny. Maybe that's a final straw. Like a freaking Kings fan watch a Kings game and puke on the court. Yeah, that was an ugly game. So I don't know what's going on, but this season, when Kings play a bad team or just a below average team, like the Spurs, uh, Thunder, even though Thunder has been very good this season, but Thunder, they are not projected to be good. So whenever Kings play a below average team, they look like they are tanky. And when they play a good team, they fight hard just to lose at the end. They, they will play like a beautiful 47 minutes and just, I don't know, the second half has been Kings struggle since the Cousins era, oh my god. You can never trust a Kings lead. I'm just happy Lou Walton is gone. Hope he can be assistant coach somewhere else because I mean he's still young. He's only 41 I believe. He can still learn. And like after since 2006 the Kings had like 10 new head coaches. That's crazy. Oh my god. And they missed obviously they missed the playoffs every single year. And can you believe that Luke Walton is the second highest Kings head coach win percentage wise. That's kind of shocking to me. I actually saw that on Reddit or something. But now the Kings have a new era, which the, the future is not bright. I can definitely say that. And yeah, that's all I got. So, see you, Lou Walton.